And it's like, am I doing this to myself? Is this happening in real time? I just, I'm finally to a place in my life where I just need to, it's like a, whoa, everybody stop. Thank I got to step off. Thank God you could do You know that. what I mean? Yeah, thank God. Can we get a tissue too? I just want to make sure she's okay. I don't have a husband to help me get ready. I don't, I don't get hugs. That shit is... <laughs> it could be like maybe a hello uh, you know uh, whatever maybe. black love is on life support today it seems marriage in the black community is nothing but a mere joke or trend or facade what is evident is that black love is soon to pass away it's in the hospital right now holding on a dear light all we see over the last few years is many black promising couples divorce, whether it's locally or celebrities. We're seeing more of our family split. There seems to be no more longevity in any of it. An alarming review, though, is when we compare this review to our other countries. Americans lead this statistic, which indicates what? That our morals and our values have been misconstrued and are frankly f the hell up. Now look, I'm a photographer. And as a photographer, I have witnessed many weddings, but very minimal promising marriages. And that's fact. I literally have called out maybe six to seven future divorces the day of the wedding. And in fact, I've seen a bride actually go overseas on her honeymoon alone by herself. And at that time, if she had hit me up, I would have taken this ticket. We have allowed social media influence to destroy the sacredness in the construct of marriage and what it was originally designed for by God. But of course, the man always adds his bullshit in it, right? The lives of men are usually destroyed as we have seen over the years. There seems to be uh, that they're financing the lifestyles of women who later on prove that they aren't responsible. When Dr. Dre got a divorce, his ex-wife requested $2 million a month in spouse support. And here's how she spent it. $900,000 a month in entertainment, cell phone and email, $20,000 a month, laundry and cleaning, $10,000 a month, $125,000 a month in charitable contributions, $100,000 a month for a mortgage payment, education and living expenses, $60,000, $135,000 a month in just clothing. There have been reports that a prenup was signed and that she's challenging it. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to get into that. Do you remember the last time family dinner was a thing during the midweek? A father coming home from work and mom making sure the kids go to school. Maybe dad picked them up after school and after they got done, everybody got home and sombered down with shared laughs at the dinner table. Remember the days your dad was the decision maker and the true leader in the home? Remember when mom wasn't combative? but still had the key to daddy's heart, pockets, decisions, but didn't exalt herself as this proclaimed alpha female today that so many women, black women especially, want to proclaim, and she maintained her femininity? Remember when two parents would tell you to ask the other parent and make their decision based on what the other parent expressed? The balance in the household was there. The outcome of every kid in a healthy family, usually 85% of the time, turned out to be conducive towards that child's success in school and in life and as an adult. That's possibly dead now and a mere thing of the past in American society. Then we add the elements of social media and how we have come to society where ladies are now following trends like no other. We're talking about plastic surgeries, you buy one BBL, get two free. You buy a BBL, you forget to get the legs to match. First issue in the marriage, all we wanna do is flee in flight. And then you're chronicled by other women. Girl, live your best life. Self-love, self-care, hot girl summer, and more. On TikTok, shaking your ass while your kids aren't getting the proper balance of love and attention as they should. 
because society has become more about self and we are a selfish people. I believe the Bible even speaks about that. We're lost, man. And on behalf of the men, some of us as men don't fully mature for the role of being a husband or aren't out of that whole phase, really, when we do get married. But it's mostly because we rush into it on behalf of the woman's desires to get married before a certain age. And instead of holding our ground, we force it and then we regret it later. So that's some of the men's issue. What is evident over the last few years, possibly thanks to Real Housewives of Atlanta and LA, Love and Hip Hop and other more reality shows and trends, men don't desire to get married anymore. Can you blame them? Can you blame men? No, you can't. Especially with many of our women today embarrassing themselves publicly online, shaming their mates, their families, their kids, and more, whether they're single or married. Here, take a look at a few. But I also love to see two individuals who have been made directly enemies by societal circumstances and propaganda. And they both come from similar struggles and backgrounds. I would like to see them beat the odds and so show that they can cohabit, procreate, and exist in love and develop a successful, long-lasting family like that of the old days. We're just watching it deteriorate yearly, monthly, weekly, daily. So many of our couples have divorced on irreconcilable differences that were really reconcilable. But money, social media, bad friends in your lives, and family have helped destruct what we call marriage and black love we have got to the point where it's all about self-love and self-care and now we're leaving a stain of what love once was you hear the excuses of women like tia mary graduating from marriage expressing that she got married just for the wedding basically because no man can help you fulfill gaining your happiness or finding yourself. You need to be a complete whole individual before you get married. So many other women applauded her for that and many other situations and broken couples. I don't understand it. And we wonder why we as a people in the communities are falling. Now we're seeing many men go out and get into interracial marriages while our same beautiful sisters proclaim happiness while single but their actions show regret and internal misery. Again, their actions show regret and internal misery. You can post everything that you're happy, you're doing the self-love, the self-care, you can do it all day. Your actions and based on your movements show a code that you are in regret and have some internal misery. I'm not a fucking hero. Like I'm not, I'm not perfect i'm somebody who i'm a human i'm flawed i'm trying to figure this thing out every day and um it just for me right now it just seems like it's getting harder and harder but is it is it is it my perception is it what i'm putting on it is it you know when you get into a dark place you go you can compound yourself with the darkness you mm -hmm. know and it's all about your thoughts. And it's like, am I doing this to myself? Is this happening in real time? I just, I'm finally to a place in my life where I just need to, it's like a, whoa, everybody stop. Thank I gotta God. step off. Thank God you could do You know that. what I mean? Yeah, thank God. Can we get a tissue too? I just want to make sure she's okay. It dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. I don't have a husband to help me get ready. I'm 46 years old and I still need my mom. None of those people, none of those services love me, right? But I am really, I'm really struggling. I'm really struggling with like, I don't, I don't get hugs. That shit is, it, it could be like maybe a hello, a, you know, 
uh, whatever, maybe. Um, but it's not enough. I don't know how. I don't know how you. How am I going to go the rest of my life like this? I think that that's really hard. I don't, there's no, I really, I'm just really struggling. I'm really struggling. Like I spent like last night just going like this. Like 20 minutes. I... Black love is on life support. Black love is on life support. We literally need to get back to the place where we realize, family, that two is better than one. Inflation shows <laughs> shows that a two household income is way better than one income. All right, but the power of us together supersedes us apart. Always remember that. All right, that balance in that household is evident you know, when it comes to raising children. Um, and we need to really value longevity. We need to look back at some of our parents or grandparents and more on how they were able to deal with some issues um, and still keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, grandpa could go, grandpa might not have been living right. Grandpa could have been on drugs. Grandpa could have been, uh, had a gambling problem. Grandpa could have went to the army. Grandpa even sometimes had multiple families. Now, I'm not saying that is right, but somehow, in some way, grandma knew that that was her husband and she had to deal with some of them punches. And she did probably did her thing on the side too. But at the end of the day, grandpa was not going to let anybody, anybody disrespect come between her and he was going to leave whatever he had to that woman. And, you know, the same thing. Grandma understood that some of the things that uh, society pits against us messes our mentals up and we don't think clearly. But I'm not saying just allow somebody to continue to disrespect you. I'm not saying allow somebody to cheat on you regularly or anything like that. I'm saying understand that people are human and if you can evaluate um, that your mate sometimes may make a human mistake just like you and you evaluate yourself as well, things are all and broken. Sometimes it can be repaired. Stop with the flea and flight. All right. But anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Share it with your family members. Share it with somebody. Talk about it. I want to see y'all uh, responses in the comment boxes, man, too. Let me know what you think. All right. I'll get back to you.